When I started my label 10 years ago, one of the most important things that I did, and I don't even know why it was important, people just told me, was to make a promo one sheet. A one sheet, you've heard of that, for my release. And that's what I wanna talk about today. I don't know if it's still relevant, but I think it's a good practice to have a consolidated home for all of the information for a new release. So let's talk about that today. My name is Scott, I host a podcast called Other Record Labels where I interview indie record labels and um, talk about the whole idea of running a record label and starting a record label. And that's what this series is about. We're gonna talk about 31 different tips of how to start a record label, why you should start a record label, or why you shouldn't start a record label. No, I don't talk about that. You can get all this information at otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist. I put all of the tips together in a free download that you can get, otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist. Talking today about this promo one sheet, basically what I used to make was this PDF, and it would include a photo, a brief bio, brief, a track list, your barcode and catalog ID if you have that, contact info for the label or the manager, accolades, um, the artist's social media links. And so I used to create this one page. It was You would print it off and you would put it in an envelope and mail it to press in along with the CD. Then it evolved into being just a PDF. And now, and then I kind of started making like web-based ones. Now I actually make an artist one sheet in an email. So I will just send to one of my press contacts or to all of my press contacts and say, here's the album cover, here's a photo of the artist, and it's all laid out nicely, a brief bio, and then I'll include a link for like a SoundCloud private stream so they can hear the album ahead of time, an MP3 link, if they love the album, they can download it. Um, and that's where I'll include the social media links for the artist. So I do this, all this one sheet now is in the body of an email. I know tons of labels who still do the traditional eight and a half by 11. And if I had more time, I would probably do that, a PDF, a nice package. Um, I know one label who's put together this like automated process where they can just ingest the information and it pops out this beautiful PDF. You could even do something as simple as a, as a Dropbox folder that has lyrics to the album, the album cover in high res, a high res um, press photo, MP3s to the album, you know, all those kind of things, you could do that. But what's really important is you make this one hub for all of the information. In fact, I would even do a Dropbox folder and share it with the artist and include all of those things as well as the one sheet so that when the artist is like, hey, I have this friend who wants to write about my album, can you send me a high res photo? You can direct them to this permanent folder that keeps everything and you can direct the press there. So that's something you really need to do is to create some sort of centralized hub for all of the promotional material and creating some sort of one sheet. It doesn't have to be a physical one sheet anymore, but it has to be um, a simple thing where the press can get all of their information and it'll continually evolve when you realize that, oh, the press are always asking me for a track list or they're always asking me for lyrics. Now you can just include it in that. I hope you found it helpful. This is part of a bigger series where we talk about starting a record label and you can get our checklist at otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist. Thanks for watching.